Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. I uh, wanted to talk to you kind of a little follow-up actually from last week when I was talking about clarity and I was working on this painting and uh, I started just trying to, it was really messy and unclear and all kinds of things were happening on it. It's kind of wild. And I talked about how, you know, sometimes do bold, something bold so you can get, start seeing it. And I put in some of these really strong darks. So that actually works. Um, it worked, it often works. And uh, I got so many comments in the uh, Art to Life uh, Facebook artist uh, group uh, about, oh, how did this thing turn out or what happened? You know, so uh, this is what happened. So I'm feeling pretty excited about it. But this is the phase that this is in now and, and the subject of what I want to talk about tonight, today is uh, a balance. And you know, once you kind of get your composition and working that out and doing those bold moves and moving darks around and everything um, to start, and, and this is just how I think about it, making it so I can, I can look at the picture and I can, my eye can move through this and move around it and experience it and I'm not getting kind of hung up in any one particular place. Like we've got this bold, heavy thing here but it's counterbalanced by something down over here and your eye kind of moves around. I mean, it's literally like a teeter-totter, you know, that you're wanting, you're wanting to make it so this thing is just, just hit this balance. And it doesn't mean 50% here and 50% here. You could have 30% here and 70 here and 10 over there. And it's just visually, uh, it balances. So the whole picture, not just one part that we stare at, can hit you kind of simultaneously. It's all moving towards you. It's like a big pizza coming at you. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's what I try to do. So it has the most impact. It has the most impact for me and it has the most impact for the viewer. And it's, it's kind of a thoughtful, it's almost like a, you know, it's like a game and you can see there were many darks on here that became part of the light, quieter conversation that I covered up because this was just too much. And there was too much weight here. And that's why this mark is here. It's like I had to reduce this weight. This still counts for some weight. You know, if, if we're weighting things based on their value contrast, you know, this is 80 pounds, this is 10 pounds, this is 25 pounds. But this counts too. It's not very much because it doesn't have a lot of contrast. But all of it, this does count. Even these lines count. This counts. All of this is is you know, part of this side of the painting that's justifying this painting. And we're kind of keeping it kind of even. So that's, that's what this is. And, you know, I'm almost done with this and I'm, I like it, but I mean, I hope to get better at doing this in the future. I mean, the balancing of something and the subtlety and the adjustments, you improve at it over time. And I, I don't, I'm under no illusion that this, I'm going to look at this next year and, maybe do a blog post about it and say, you know, I thought this was pretty good at the time, but God, what is I missing a lot, you know? So, but it's just, all I can do is I'm kind of excited about it because I like it and it's, there's some interesting things happening. One of the things that I'm liking about it is the, the, the color that I subdued, you know, I decided to just keep this palette really quiet and I'm getting a lot of color out of not a lot of color. And that's because of I'm using a lot of white and grays and I just love those sort of peaking little chips of, of saturated color that are coming through. And that too is a balance. That does also contribute to the balance. This, this red has a weight that, you know, that's the biggest amount of color. It's all on this side and this one doesn't have as much. And it's all just kind of balancing. And of course your balance, one person's balance is not the same as somebody else's. So this is all subjective. And by no means is this good except for me, right? So anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. Just uh, the phases, you know, you saw that drastic phase last night, uh, last week about how to get that out and get that thing working and strong darks and moving things around. Then you move into a quieter, more, you know, finesse. It gets more, your moves get less and less and more subtle and more delicate. The, the closer you get to resolving this. So in the end, it's like, I might just need to add like a little bit of dark down here and it makes a difference. If I put a, if I put a, you know, a playing card that was black here, it would ruin the painting. 
but it wouldn't have ruined it last week. You wouldn't even have noticed it. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments. And uh, again, um, I usually don't show my work so much, uh, but there were so many questions I thought I'd share with you how it turned out. So anyway, and this is a commission from my sister, which makes it extra challenging, <laughs> but she likes it, so that's good. All right, hope you're having a great Sunday. And uh, go ahead and leave your comments. And, um, and let, let me know if you want to join our uh, the Art to Life Facebook group. I'm sharing some cool stuff in there as well. And uh, thanks so much. Okay.